are on one end of my trap line that I never really get to. Um, and we decided to check this out a couple weeks ago. I don't have any traps even close to this area as far as Martin and Lynx. Uh, so we did a drive down this road. It's a, it's a main forest service road. But this section actually doesn't get used hardly at all. You kind of log at either end of it, so this little middle chunk doesn't get traveled by people other than hunters. And, and so the other day, we other week, we drove down through here and found a pretty major uh, beaver activity location. Trees all across the road, which we're going to get up to here pretty soon. And. Uh, just tons of fresh beaver activity. Got out a few days after that and set a few traps and while I was looking for a place to set actually saw some beavers or saw a beaver traveling and swimming a little channel and then up over a crossover and so got a got a trap set up on each side of the crossover. So we're heading back out there today with uh, some DP Todd students, PGSS students, and Edgewood Elementary students. So we're just making our way out to the trap location. The forestry company that maintains this road, uh, I've been chatting with them, and uh, they will bring machines out eventually to uh, clean up some of the damage and culverts and whatnot that are plugged up. But they would prefer if uh, you know, the beavers were knocked down a little bit, trapped a few in there anyways to, to slow it up and before they bring equipment in because what will happen is they'll just bring in the equipment and clean it up and the beavers will just be right back at it, plugging everything up and, and making their dams and flooding the road. So yeah, we want to get out here and take some of the beavers out of the area. Uh, slow the destruction up a little bit. Uh, forestry company will come out, as I said, clean up the culverts and whatnot, get it flowing how it should be, and we'll just kind of maintain it uh, over the course of the season. So we'll check it out today. We've got uh, I think there's I've got five traps set up that have been sitting out there. Uh, it's Friday today, so we got them out there on Monday. So a few days they've been sitting out there, so I'm feeling pretty optimistic. And we'll get something. And here we go. Here's one of our uh, hunters. Bear hunting season right now. We are coming up on our site, our location, with our traps, all those trees up ahead. These are uh, trees that the beavers have knocked down over the years. Some of them are fairly old, uh, been down for quite a while. Again, this road doesn't get used a lot through here, so it's not plowed in the winter, so these trees are still out here. But lots of, lots of damage. Work our way through here, hop out here in a second. And there was water all across the road here. Show, I'll show you this clip here. So all these trees are knocked down by beavers. A little bit older. Just tell by the color. You can see couple of these big trees are quite old. They've been knocked down. Stumps are gray. Knocked over by beavers, but they've been here for a while. So looks like they're slowly moving their way down uh, back to that main culvert. Definitely a lot more fresh activity down there. So we'll focus our traps that way. Tree in there major run travel route going up into that so we're in the ditch here there's our one dam we're gonna knock this one down it's right along the side of the road and as it fills up it's gonna go over the road so 
We're going to start with opening that up. Pick some spots here to set some traps. Got a couple workers coming in. What? A couple high skilled workers coming in to get the job done. Yeah, it's real deadly. Just <laughs> give you an idea of what beavers can do, will do. Be a good sized stump I'm taken out here. Beavers will cut this up into manageable chunks. So they're trying to cut that piece. They'll take that whole piece. You can see they've already taken the end, used it for something. Here's a good example. It's almost like six foot lengths. They got a ruler out cutting pieces and then they'll move it. All these trails in here, they're all beaver trails. So here's the lodge. It's mud on top. It's pretty active. There's our culverts, so the creek should be flowing through those culverts. Over there, they've got it dammed up again, making a nice pond in here. And you can see the roads right there. The creek should be flowing right through here, but it's going up both sides of the road up the ditch. Uh, so back in here is definitely there's going to be some dams back in there. We'll have to go explore and see if we can find something. Set some traps. My guess is right in there is going to be a good spot to start with. <coughs> we could have a beaver right over here. literally just came out of the water right up over this run and down that's wet I mean I saw him I 
built into the main creek. Right there, right where Pacer is. Pacer's smelling them. That's where he came up and out. Probably in there somewhere. I am going to go set a trap right here in case we smell them. Let me figure this out. Cool. If I do sort of noise on this side, it's coming down. Probably put one on both sides. And it was exciting. It's kind of fun seeing something like that. <clears throat> Wish I had that. It's too brushy to see, but at least we're still trying to get snow. Figure out where he is. Yeah, I just saw him swimming through here. come out of the water didn't realize it was just a crossover okay well there's so many places here we can set Hey, let's check out our first trap. We had a dam here that we opened up. And we set a trap at the bottom of this run. Oh, that's not good. We don't want that happening. Oh, wait, no, we do want it. What do you think? Have we got something in there? Yeah. You know, do you want to pull it out? So what you can do is you can grab, see where the chain is? You can grab the chain and then the trap. We'll pull up these sticks because they're holding it. But I'm going to guess based on the tail that it might be an otter. We've got one trap on the lodge up, up here, so. So look, look at how they uh, they cut these trees up in chunks where they can move them. Yeah. They're like five, six foot length pieces, and then they they'll oh. haul that whole thing. That's what that trail is there. I used to. Are like they coming them. up? We're almost on the lodge. Oh, I see. See the lodge? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, and uh, there's our trap down here. Jump on them. So nothing in the trap. But you get Wake an idea. Up. This is a wobbly. Mama, I'm filming you down there. Is, there like, is it hollow inside of it? Yeah, so... Oh, there's a spider. See all that? There's a bunch of branches down in there. Yeah. So that their entrance will be over here. One of the entrances. There's probably one there. But when I came in here on Monday, I saw a beaver swimming through here and then it went out of the water right down there and crossed over. Uh, so I put a trap on either side of the crossover. And I think, I think we picked a good spot. until it flows down here. So the beavers go from here, where you guys are standing, see this trail? It goes up and over and down a bank. 
goes down over there. And then that water down there goes out to the main creek. So I put a trap here and a trap there. And we're two for two. So we got one down there as well. See it down there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. So this is their travel route. Wait. That thing got caught by a trap. Oh yeah, it is. Yep, that's got by a trap. Oh yeah. You can't see it? It's right there. So if you guys want to come up over here, I got a third trap. You do? So there's another, this waterway down here, now goes out to the main creek, so I put another trap. And that goes up. No, what is that thing in there? What is that? That's a beaver. Oh, we got a beaver, yay. We got three. Yeah. So we got another trap over here with a third beaver in it. Someone knows what they're doing out here when they set traps. <laughs> 